video is going to show you how to make your chain link gate self-closing. So if you want to make the gate self-closing, you need two things. You need an auto hinge assembly and an extra frame collar. So what you do on the auto hinge assembly, there's three nuts on the hinge bolt. You remove the last nut because that's what's holding the retaining plate onto the hinge bolt. So remove it, remove the retaining plate, then remove the second nut completely just like that. Now slide the retaining plate onto the hinge bolt, but make sure it goes through the spring, just like here, because that's what gives it the tension. Then you put your nut back on so that it keeps the retaining plate in place. And then the third nut that you removed, we need later on for your post collar, so don't worry about it for now. Just like that. Once that's done, you're ready to go to your gate and start the installation. So the first thing you do is loosen up and just slide out of the way the frame collar you already have on the gate because right now it's blocking the spot where you're gonna be installing the spring. So loosen it up, move it out of the way, and then get your spring and put it on. So the second thing you do there is start removing your post collar because the hinge bolt that's on the post collar you have already isn't long enough. So you need a longer hinge bolt, which is part of the auto hinge assembly. Then what you do, take your spring that you've already pre-assembled, make sure that the top of the spring is going into the gate like that because that's where it gives it its tension, and then install the spring, the longer hinge, onto the post collar that you just removed. Put your nut on and then tighten it up from there. And again, make sure that that top part of the spring is going into the gate. Once that's all done, nice and tight, use your wrench. It's time to install all the frame collars that you removed. So the one at the top is going to be going onto the spring, just like that. And then the third frame collar is going to be going on the bottom of the spring. Now, the key here is how much to tighten them. If you tighten them too much, then it won't be able to slide enough inside the frame collars. But if you don't tighten it enough, then it's going to fall apart. So you want it just snug enough that it's not going anywhere, but loose enough that it can slide around and make sure that it works. So once that's all done, once both of them are on, just tighten them both up just like that. Make sure that the post collar is tight, tight enough, and then you're in action and the gate will be self-closing. We have a final video to show you what it looks like. You open up the gate and then on its own.